So just a heads up before the video starts, even though the title says Bonnie's design specifically is terrifying, I'm going to be talking about some of the other Bonnies as well because they mostly follow the same blueprints with their own variations. Anyways, on to the video. FNAF needs no introduction. Its original four characters are a staple of horror games to this day. <laughs> <laughs> While all of them have some features that make them just uncanny enough, Bonnie was always the one that unsettled me the most. Now why exactly was he the one is the question we're going to tackle today and hopefully find an answer. Every Bonnie follows a set of blueprints from which they deviate more or less depending on which one we are talking about. They generally have bulky and THICK builds slim and tall bunny ears, a lifeless expression on their face. Yes, Wither Bonnie is not an exception to Deceiver, tell me that those two red dots on the structure of the endoskeleton don't make a face. Bruh. And a bow tie. These are the four key elements that make up the blueprints of Bonnie's design. Also, red and bluish purple are a good combination of colors that are really pleasing to the eye. Thank you, Scott, for making me aware of that color combo. Cheers, Jeff. Same goes for the greenish yellow hues on Springtrap and Afton. Don't worry, I'm gonna tackle that guy later. I memorized the prices and did the tax and change in my head. Now, spelling those elements out here doesn't really paint a scary picture, rather something you would see at a normal Freddy's restaurant. Oh man, that appears to be Barnaby, Eric Chester, and Madame Traceable at Poultry Hampton. Well, this is where lighting comes into play. Oh gracious! Now tell me, what do all the main FNAF games have in common? You guessed it, it's the lack of light. This creates situations where you don't have a full picture of what the animatronic in question looks like. I believe this is especially prevalent with Bonnie, since he has that thing, which makes him blend in his darkness much better than other characters. I think FNAF 2 Bonnie is the scariest in this category solely because of the red eyes and random wires he has going about. His design also brings up so many questions. Why did he lose his face? How did he lose his arm? Who made him like this and so on? The best part is the simplicity. It doesn't feel like Scott actually wanted to make the first two Bonnies scary. Rather, he used their minimal designs and a lack of lighting to his advantage to make some terrifying moments. This is also a reason why I don't really like FNAF 4 Bonnie and generally the theme of FNAF 4. Like, I get it, it's a child's nightmare. But even a grown-ass man doesn't have nightmares where the monsters have three fucking sets of perfectly preserved teeth like they are going through five Colgate tubes a week. Only Colgate Total has an antibacterial ingredient. It attacks to teeth to f Bomb Bon is just a puppet hand thing of fun time Freddy, he barely counts. Even in that one segment where you have to slowly move your mouse onto his nose, he isn't that unnerving because you remove almost all the lack of information by shining the light directly on him. Also, it makes me kinda sad that anyone who knows barely anything about FNAF jerks off Springtrap because of his perfect design, well, which I don't really disagree with. I just don't think he is miles above Wither Bonnie. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! I mean, just look at the human part of Springtrap. <coughs> Scott couldn't model a human to save his life. But yes, yeah, Springtrap does have a perfect blend of human and mechanical elements brought together with his own rundown appearance and glossy eyes, yada yada yada. There are a million videos about Springtrap, I'm not gonna repeat that here. If this video wasn't enough to convince you that Bonnie is the character with the best design, watch literally any FNAF horror tape ever made since they usually show FNAF in a completely new way and they make advantage of what videos can do and use it to scare the living daylight out of people more than the games ever could. So yeah, that's about it. Tell me in the comments what you think. Alright. On the other end of the spectrum, we have Afton. This guy is not as bad as people make him out to be. You what? Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. The horrific human model is also a problem with Spring Chap, but the colors are bad to look at. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. It doesn't have to look appealing. The only thing that bothers me are those square bumps on the suit, but that was also present on Spring Trap, so an invalid point. So to recap the video, Bonnie good design, Spring Trap is overrated.